Hey y'all, Professor Wyman here. You're going to be using Jamovi for class and so this is just a short video on how to download Jamovi and kind of talk about the different options. Um, Jamovi is free and it uh, also interfaces with R um, so there's some advantages to using it. Uh, you might use something like SPSS in the future in a different class or JASP or some other kind of um, program, but this is really gonna, it's gonna give you the skills that you need to navigate any of those types of programs. Um, when you go to this jamovi.org, which you can access from Canvas, there's a link for you to click on. You'll notice that there are two options. You can use Jamovi Cloud. I don't recommend it. Um, the reason is that the cloud version, even though it's updated automatically, you have to be online to use it. So that's kind of a big issue. So if you are working and you don't have internet access, uh, that can be a problem or if it's gonna be inter uh, interrupted regularly. The other issue is that um, once you're here, you can go to start and uh, you can click on this get started if you're not already a user. So you can click get started and then notice that you can do sign in as guest. And this availability says subject to availability, uh, 45 minute session limits. Um, it, it just has a lot of restrictions on it. And so I've had a number of students who in class have not been able to access Jamovi um, because it's not, it's too busy. People with priority plan or teams already have it open basically. Um, so you can use this if you want to, you just click sign in as a guest and then you can sign in using your Google um, and it will let you use Jamovi. I, I don't really honestly see any big advantage to it. Um, the other option is that you can do Jamovi desktop. So when you click on Jamovi desktop, you have two options here as well. The first is the solid this has um, fewer bugs because it is it's been tested um, and it's a little bit older and the it has all of the the functions that we're going to need in class there is a current version and so there are some kind of cool more recent features but we're not going to be using those for uh, class most likely um, so I have this solid downloaded uh, and what you would do here is you can always check your um, operating system and decide what you want to download, but I'm going to click on solid and it's going to download here. And then once it finishes downloading, you just need to double click on it, open it and move it into your applications, just like you would for um, any application. Now, just as a heads up, uh, typically when you're first getting started with Jamovi, one of the things that students struggle with is that you can't just double click on a Jamovi file that you have where you have data saved. You need to open Jamovi and then open your file. Um, so if you are in one of my classes where you're going to be using this on your laptop in class, um, or you'll be wanting to follow along during lecture, um, definitely download this and have this ready for classes. And then uh, for the classes in the computer room, you'll have access to this on the lab computers. And that is all I have for you right now.